Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I made a really delicious, colorful veggie dish. I hope you try this one out. It turned out really great and was fast on a weeknight. I did work today. I hope you guys are enjoying the channel and tuning in for lots of great recipe ideas. This can absolutely be modified to any vegetables you have in your cupboard or kitchen. Um, I went with one bell pepper, a yellow color, four zucchini, and the cherry tomatoes. They're my favorite. They're nice and sweet and they add a great texture to the dish. Um, so I'm just starting out here by chopping up my bell pepper. And again, you can use whatever you have. Um, always make sure to clean your vegetables. So I'm just adding it to a bowl so I can soak it with some baking soda. I'm chopping it up just loosely so that it's nice big chunks for the dish. This comes together really quick um, on a weeknight, so I did it after work. Um, it's really not too bad and it's really healthy, great for leftovers, keeps in the fridge great for a day or two, and uh, it's really enjoyable. So I hope you guys try out this recipe or at least a version of your own. Then I went ahead and chopped up my zucchini just to have them soak so that they can get cleaned. Again, getting all those pesticides off. I usually try to buy organic when I can, but if I can, I just make sure to soak it really good. Just adding that baking soda in. And I have my two pots ready. Um, the one to boil the pasta, just adding oil to both and my fry pan to cook the meat, adding in lots of garlic. I've been loving cooking with lots of garlic. Just adds that extra flavor, and I feel like it's been keeping me healthy lately. Adding in a good amount of butter, just letting that melt. I have that pan on about a medium heat, and the pan, or the pan for the pasta on about a high to boil the water. It's one of those quick boil burners, so it works great. Just adding in my meat. Um, I added ground beef, but you can add anything. Ground turkey, ground chicken, whatever you guys have at home. I'm definitely all about easy and whatever works. Just breaking that up. I had had my husband take that out of the freezer today while I was at work, so just so it could thaw enough to cook. Had to cook it a little bit longer, but you can definitely cook the meat from frozen if you're taking it out of the freezer. Um, just chopping up my zucchini there. I used four, like I said, and you wanna use a few more than, um, because it's definitely cooks down when you cook it. So what looks like four and seems like a lot ends up to be a lot less because it's lots of water in the zucchini. And just stirring my meat, trying to chop that up to get it to cook. You want to make sure your meat's almost cooked before you add your vegetables in. And the key is to keep the lid on too and it helps it cook faster. Just adding in my zucchini, the bell pepper and the cherry tomatoes. They look really good and colorful. And just trying to stir that as often as I can to get it more to the bottom to cook evenly. You can start to see it cooking down here more a little bit. And you can always check the zucchini with a fork for tenderness to see how you like it. Um, I like mine really cooked so I just try to add it in as soon as I can. Once I feel it's soft enough, I just add my pasta sauce, one jar. I know I had two there, but I felt like one was enough. I'm just mixing it, letting that sauce heat up with all the veggies and the meat. All the flavors are starting to come together. It smelled really good here. You can see it bubbling away. I was just draining my pasta, getting that ready to put in, and then I'm gonna give it a good mix, make sure everything comes together. And honestly, you could top this with cheese or anything. 
Parmesan, but it came together really good. I definitely hope you guys try this recipe. And if you'd be willing to help out the channel to like and subscribe and hit that bell notification so you know when my next video is up. Thanks guys. I hope you really enjoyed this one.